Greetings and welcome to the concept guide introduction for the first midterm exam. This will be the first midterm exam that some of you have had from me and I want to give you as much heads up as possible about what it's going to be like. First of all, let's talk about the structure of the exam. The structure of the exam is usually that you'll have 25 multiple choice questions and those questions will each have five possible answers. And so this is a good way to kind of measure what you're doing and see what's going on. Uh, you will need a Scantron for this exam. The Scantrons have to have 50 questions on each side. There are several different types available. You can purchase them through the bookstore and also outside the library there's a vending machine that distributes them. Both of those ways are fine. While you're there, make sure you pick up a couple of Scantrons because we'll need a couple throughout the quarter so you can get a couple, save yourself from going back a couple times. After you finish the uh, multiple choice part, there's also a short answer section at the back. There's usually between three and five questions uh, when you can actually write all over, show your work. This is an area where you get partial credit. I'll see how you're doing. If I see that your uh, ways make sense, but the final answer isn't quite right, you'll still get a lot of points for it, which is kind of neat. So there's different testing styles that I assess here. It's not just like one type or the other, uh, which is kind of good. The midterm exams are usually about two hours long. <laughs> Right. and they'll be during the recitation part so there will be no problem set or no quiz during this time you will just take the midterm exam you should bring then as I said previously a scantron make sure you bring a pencil and you should definitely bring your calculator you'll need that for this one this midterm exam will cover the areas uh, that we talked about in concept guides one through three so it'll be things like on math significant figures dimensional analysis temperature conversions it'll also be things on the structure of the atom proton electrons, neutrons, how to use Avogadro's number in calculation, uh, the structure of the periodic table through atomic number, mass number, isotopes. Uh, we'll talk about nomenclature a lot, a lot of nomenclature questions probably. There will be empirical formula, molecular formula problems definitely. You should also know how to go between the mass, mole, and number of particles uh, conversions. So you know how to use a molar mass, how to do that kind of stuff. It's all going to be uh, material though that you have seen before and I may have a few different twists on it but it's going to be the same stuff. So if you've spent your time studying over the previous concept guides you should have no problem doing this. If you have any questions on the material please do not hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help you and I want you to succeed and I will do anything I can. Once you take the midterm exam Usually by Friday of the same week, I will return the exam to you and it'll have a, a summary sheet on the back, which is basically telling you how you're doing in the class as of this day. So by Friday, then you'll have a better idea of what's going on in the class. If you have questions on this or anything else, please do not hesitate to contact me, like I said earlier, and good luck with your studying.